when you think of absolute, think of this apple tree. The apple tree absolutely doesn't move. But when you think of relative, think of Robo the relative robot. He moves the same way that you move. Up, down, left, right. The same way that relative references move when you move them in Excel. Now take a look at this picture. The letter is always a column. A number is always a row. The money sign is what makes the reference absolute or not absolute. With the money sign, the reference becomes absolute. So if you look at the first example, there's a money sign in front of the column and the row. So the column and the row do not change when copied. The second example, there's only a money sign in front of the column. The row will change, but not the column. In the last example, there's a money sign in front of just the row. So the column will change, but not the row. Let's take a look at some real examples. If you're looking into relative versus absolute references, then you've likely used the auto sum feature before. That's whenever you select a cell and click the auto sum feature here, and it selects the range above the cell that you have selected. Make sure that you have your formula bar here visible, and you can do that by clicking view, and make sure that this formula bar has the check mark clicked, and you can see your formula bar. We can change this range by selecting the cells that we'd like to auto sum. And if you see here, the references that Excel automatically selected by default are relative references. Most often you'll find that relative references are the reference that you'd like to use, but in some situations it won't be the case. So if we press enter on our keyboard, then we get the total of all of these cells. Okay, so now let's use our own formula. If we put in the equal sign and we select a cell, you can see that Excel automatically used a relative reference. Now let's say that we multiply it, actually let's add it, by the D cell. Press enter and we get 5. 2 plus 3 is 5. Now we talked about how relative moves in the way that you move. So if you copy this down, you can see that we got the answer of 10. Select inside of your cell and look inside the formula bar and you'll see that the reference moved downward in the same way that we did. So we originally had C1 plus D1 and we moved down so it moved to C2 and D2. If we do it again, C3 and D3. Now let's say that we take the C3 and D3 and copy to the right. We get the answer 15 and if we look inside of our formula bar, we see that it moved to the right. It moved from C to D and from D to E. So that's great. Now what if you did not want it to move? Then in that case you need to make an absolute reference. So let's say that we wanted to multiply the entire C column by A1, the 5%. We would select our cell A1, use the F4 key to make it an absolute reference. So now we see the money sign in front of both the row and the column and then we select our asterisk for multiplying and then click C1. Now I want this to be relative because we're going to copy the entire column. So press enter and if we copy this down we see each time that we move down that the reference moved downward. C3, C4, C5. Okay. Now let's see what happens if we copy this right. Okay, we got 0.15. That's because it stayed on the A1 cell, being that it's absolute, and it moved to the D1. Copy downward, D2, D3, D4, and we can move this right. Now let's see what happens if we took that same formula and we made the column not absolute, but the row stayed absolute. So if we copy this right, then we get an answer of zero. That's because the column wasn't absolute and inside the B1 cell we have no info. So it multiplied F1 times nothing resulting in zero. So you can see how whenever you move down, up, left, right, the formula will always move that way if it's in a relative reference. 
I'll have some videos coming up on if statements, uh, conditional formatting, and some other Excel tools that you may like in the future. So if you like the content, please like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, you can always contact me here at my contact page on my website. Thanks for checking us out.